You know, I said I wasn't going to spend more money on the DR other than the foot pegs and you know, the rear sprocket, but you know me, I can't help myself. That's right, I bought a lithium battery. Badass. Now, the most common bragging right to a lithium battery is you take weight out of the motorcycle, usually from up high. And in the DR650, that's not uh, any different. So, 1215.1 grams. Too fat to measure. It speaks for itself. So when you buy the Power Road lithium battery, this here, part number PLFP20R, that's the one you want for the DR650 specifically. Mine's a 2023. I'd imagine they're all the same, but I mean, look into it. Don't just go into it blind. And you get all this, okay? You get all these pads for a custom fit. Again, the DR650, I purposely found a battery that just fits. So you don't have to do anything. If you buy this exact battery, it should just be good. It comes with three sets of hardware, which is awesome. Absolutely phenomenal. I, I just, I, I can't say enough good things about it because it also comes with two spots to hook wires, right? So you can hook your top post as the factory DR is, and then you can also hook your accessories down here that you don't have to use the same one all the time. And I love that. That's, that's really good. Another fantastic option. If you're having trouble starting your bike and you got your seat off and you're messing around, you're like, well, I wonder if the battery's getting weak. Outside of being able to hear it, you get a visual indicator. And that, that is also another fantastic idea they came up with. So they're basically the same size. There's a factory battery versus the lithium battery. If you buy the specific lithium battery, they are so close to the same size, it's ridiculous. The lithium does appear to be a tiny, tiny bit smaller. Now, when it comes to outright capacity, amp hours, 8.4, 6 amp hour. Um, watt hours, 72 versus 100.8. And cold cranking amps is not even close. This is 360 cold cranking amps versus um, 135. So if you have a DR650, this is a direct bolt-in replacement. No pads, no nothing. Just throw it in and it is superb. Now with a fully charged battery, I've incapacitated the bike so it's not going to start. Tell you that right now, it can't start, it's impossible. I unplug the spark plugs, but I want to hear the difference. So, the conventional battery, fully charged, you give it a nice little two second crank. And we'll compare it to the lithium. Lithium's turn. I distinctly hear quite a few more RPM. So it's obviously much stronger. Uh, you know, two fully charged batteries, they're not having any issues spinning my motor. But if you have a DR650, I don't know why else you'd even watch this, I highly recommend this. So you need a PLFP20R. If you get the 20L, you're, as I said before, it's going to be switched. So your power would be over here and your ground there. And that's wrong. You, you need it to be wired correctly. So make sure you get the 20R. Uh, my foot pegs did come in. So the next video I release will be the foot peg. So smash the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And the next video will be up shortly. Cheers.